visit tvgh subscribe like and share good evening ladies and gentlemen and people of ghana and welcome to visit multimedia where mathematics is made simple uh yes shedda na yama is damaged at the echo division division and casa division even we say a thing but we are simple because we have promised you that we will make mathematics meaningful and mathematics will be mild we bacho emma rinfi say on saka video ya say the way ya die a db2 man now on saka nti na wa subscribe bacho me a subscribe button so na u ya no i like it no i share mo comment no eh nu anu ya da masi mo de comment be pray but mo ya mo ma question bra na mr me de solve so on di un tv bi asia na dia tum no o solve no dia tum no o solve and it name me bacho subscribe video no na e ma comment ni brand like na e share na ni penny na enye bi let's welcome with time thank you what we want to discuss with you is based on the divisibility rule which is actually a very important foundation stone for learning so many other areas of mathematics we are aware that our, some of our teachers teach these ideas based on what they know based on what are in books and based on what they have been introduced to our discussions for this session will be focusing on the divisibility rule for two as a number the rule for three the rule for four that of five and six i'll repeat that this session will focus on the rules for two, three, four, five, and six. We will touch on certain strategies that we have personally developed especially with certain numbers which have some general rules but upon finding out that it might be difficult for our learners and some teachers we have decided to delve into a little bit so um, that was a way of introduction and I believe you have not forgotten that when you get such a message all you need to do is to first of all like it subscribe it you may have to give some comment on it and then share with others who matter don't forget at the right time you will know that this is something that is seriously important and we don't have to joke with it before we can think about finding highest common factors and some other ideas, we need to know the divisibility rules of some numbers. That is why it has become very important for us to deal with you around this idea. And I believe you have not forgotten that when you get such a message, all you need to do is to first of all like it subscribe it you may have to give some comment on it and then share with others who matter don't forget at the right time you will know that this is something that is seriously important and we don't have to joke with it so we are going to begin and as I said, we'll deal with the rules for two, three, four, five, and six. 
let's pick a very small activity which is an icebreaker and you know what we call usually call the starter so when I say I will divide just respond how would you know you can divide I will divide how would you know you can divide, you can divide. I will divide how would you know you can divide so for example if I say I will divide by 2 any number so give me any 3 or 4 digit number and then that will be our starter or the starter will be based on that. So give me a three or four digit number. 335. So 335. That is what you said. I will divide by two. I say, how would you know you can divide how by two? How will you know you can divide by two? So I know I cannot divide this number by two because of the last digit, which is a five. I have said that I know I cannot divide 335 by 2 because I know the divisibility rule for, five, for 2. And what does it say? So using this as our first number, beginning with the rule for 2, I have said that we cannot divide 335 by 2. And the reason is that by dividing any number by 2 or knowing you can divide or not divide a number by 2, you have to just look at the last digit, no matter how big or small the number is. This is a three-digit number. And the numeral 5 is that which is ending. Because the 5 here is neither a 0, nor 2, 4, 6, nor 8. This number is not divisible by 2. What it means is that for any number to be divisible by 2, the last digit should be any of these five numerals. If we divide the 335 by 2, there will be a remainder, which is going to be a 1. And so it means that the number is not divisible by 2. What did I say? I have said that because the last digit is a 5 and not a 0. 2, 4, 6, no, 8. This number is not divisible by 2. Now we have five numerals to use or to consider at you know, the, the last position. And why are they five? This is an additional information I'm giving you. You may have been you know, saying that, yes, for a number to be divisible by two, it should end with a zero, or a two, or a four, six, or eight. But what I have just put in, that these are five. We need to consider any of these five numerals. We seen at the end, so the question I asked was, how would you, why are they five? And I'll say they are five because our base is 10. We are dealing with base 10. And that we're thinking about divisibility by what? Two. So divide the 10 by two. What are we supposed to have? Five. And the five is actually, you know, explaining why the digit we consider as the last digit in any number that is divisible by two. Yeah, so that is where we are getting that from. This probably is an additional information. So my colleague teachers,
Take advantage of this. At times, our children or learners might ask, why this? I mean, when I'm dealing with some of these things, I go uh, you know, a step ahead to give some meaning. The reason why certain things are always the way they are. Good. So let's quickly get on to an example. By example, what I mean is that let's try to give any, let's say, five or six digit number automatically give that and let's see whether that those numbers or the number is divisible by two or not. Two thousand six hundred and forty five. Oh the five and again. 46. Let's say forty six this time. So this is a four digit number numeral and it reached 2,646. Is this number divisible by two or not? And I believe at this point, you don't have any doubt that the number is divisible by two. Just because one, we only consider the last digit, nothing else. And because the last digit is a number Two can divide. It's part of the five, you know, numerals we have identified. It means our two thousand six hundred and forty-six is divisible by two. So this is a, an example we have given. The first we use was a counter example or non example, that which is not. All right. So this is a good example, helping us to know. Exam those numbers which are actually divisible by 2. The fact that the last digit is a 6, we are fine. Well, if you have any ask a question, you can ask a question. Otherwise, we may have to move on to another number whose divisibility rule we want to check. We said that in this lesson or session, We'll consider the rules for two, three, four, five, and six. We are dealt with the rule for two. Once we don't have any problem with it, so we want to consider another number. And, uh, you know, when teaching, it is very important to focus on you know, some level of consistency, right? Yes, you pick your activities and make sure that there are some resemblance or things, uh, very nice, you know, paths that you follow. So some will think that once I have finished with two, then I should jump to three. But because of what I have just said, I'm not going to consider three as my next, but rather I'll pick five. If you have any question as to why I should pick five, you can ask. Otherwise, you may get you know, this explanation as we move along. It's always important to pause and then find out. Perhaps people might be thinking, why is it that you said you're going to deal with two, three, four, five, and six? Having finished with two, why not three? Why not four? But, you know, five coming immediately after the two. The simple reason is that the rule for two and five are similar. What did I say? I've said that the rule for two and five are similar. And that is why after two, I'm going to consider the rule for five. Um, so let's just go through some something. What is the similarity? A simple answer is that we consider the last digit just as we dealt with two. So looking for the rule for five, all we need is to look at the last digit, just as we did for two. But you know, the difference is that instead of 
is 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 for 2. That of 5 is just 0 and 5. We consider only two digits. All right? If you can divide any number by 5, you are sure that the last digit should either be a 0 or 5. 5, 1, 5. 5, 2, 10. 5, 3, 15. 5, 4, 20. You see that the end is either a 0 or 5. Again, why just 2? And the reason is that dealing with base 10, and want to find that the rule for 5, whether 5 can divide, our 10 divided by 5 will be 2. And the 2 is actually explaining the two digits, 0 and 5. That's supposed to be seen at the end of a number. For us to be sure that 5 can divide such a number. So that is also a very interesting extension in terms of explanation. So if Elenis asks you, why is it that finding out that a number can be divided by 5, we have only 0 and 5? And that is the explanation I've given we have two digits because uh, base 10 and then we're dividing by 5 and so we consider only two digits which will help you pass the test 0 and 5. Good. So that is well, so we are going to write a number or just give us a number and then I'm sure our listeners and viewers will know that that number is either divisible by 5 or not, just by way of inspecting the last digit. So what is your number? It can be any number of digits. 520. 20. Yes. yes. The fact that the last digit is a 0, you are fine. 5 will divide it. Let's give another example. Um, can you give, let's, let's consider your um, telephone number without the first zero. Yeah. Uh, 2000. You call the number, the digit 111 because I've seen that. Okay, digit. 2, yes. 4, 9. One zero four zero eight and one. So this should be read two hundred and forty nine million one hundred and four thousand and eighty one. I'll take it again two hundred and forty nine million. 104,081. The fact that the last digit is a 1 and it's not a 0 nor 5 tells us that this number, no matter how fine it is, is not divisible by 5. 5 cannot divide it. So that is what we have. What did we do? We just need to consider the last digit and be sure it is either a zero or five before you can testify that a number is divisible by five. So we have finished with the rule for two and five. Similarities between these two is that we just have to watch, uh, just target the last digit. Dividing or checking if a number can be divided by 2 or to be divided by what 5. What did we say we should do? Just watch the last digit. Right? And see whether the conditions we have given are satisfied. Visit TVGH. Subscribe, like, and share.